All right, guys, I'm here with Wax Empties. It's actually pretty full. I was kind of surprised to see that. Um, I didn't feel like I melted a lot because I was not home very often, but I threw some stuff, emptied some stuff out. One being butcher's knife. It was graham crackers, pumpkin, toasted mallow leaves, perfect fall goodness. It's L3 Waxy Wonders. But here's the thing. I loved everything about this except, I'm sorry, it's a bit. <laughs> I'm like, I got lost in my own thought. But I, I love the smell of this, but it had like a background note of cologne. And I, I just was like, was it the leaves? Like, so that's not in my favorites, but really liked it. Would buy a small quantity next year. The next thing I have is Deputy Dewey. I don't understand that reference. And I think I said that when I hauled this Deputy Dewey. It's sweet pumpkin, yellow cake, and zucchini bread. It was just okay. Yeah, it was just okay. Sweet pumpkin, yellow cake, and zucchini bread. For some reason, whatever zucchini bread, this is vintage, vintage chic scent. Whatever zucchini bread she uses, it, well, it used in this particular one, was not that strong. Um, so it was good to me. I finished a pumpkin marshmallow cream. Always amazing always amazing and this is by sensationals the next thing i picked i mean i picked up did i say i picked up i used um i think i put this in my favorites but if not i'm gonna actually i'm actually gonna put this aside because maybe it's not in my favorites all right people we got some movement in the kitchen so i'm gonna talk a little louder project but what i was saying is silver shamrock um oh i really like the cinnamon brew in it and Actually, I just like the combination of cinnamon, bourbon, and candy corn. So I definitely will be purchasing a small quantity of this again. This was actually the perfect quantity. So I'll probably be purchasing something along these lines. This, I think, will go my favorites. And this is my first vintage chic since favorite. <laughs> the next thing I finished was a brutal day by With Envy. And I think if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this is, yeah, this is the one to me that kind of smelled like a coffee scented lip balm and this is again by with envy so i didn't love this and i will not repurchase this is bubbly pear by with envy and i did like this but i not enough to repurchase so that goes over there i can't tell you the notes on those because they didn't have the notes same with pumpkin apple butter we can assume that it's pumpkin apple it was just a pretty regular pumpkin apple set. Like, oh, sorry. I don't, um, I wouldn't repurchase this though. Nothing spectacular about it, should I say. Um, this is pumpkin apple muffins <laughs> and it's sensational. For some reason, the tagline on this is blissful. I wouldn't really put blissful with pumpkin apple muffin, but somebody who wrote these taglines at sensational loves them some pumpkin apple muffins because they find that to be their bliss. Oh, so delicious every year I have to have some I already bought a backup for next year love that oh it's a favorite you know I'm yeah no it's kind of big I'll just use the next one so that's not gonna go in my favorites <laughs> this the next thing is a I don't even know why I put this in here refreshing pear closet full of wax sample and most of these samples I enjoy but this one was not a repurchase worthy sample this is Janet You'll see when I turn it around. Pink sugar, sugared strawberries, and vanilla no bean noel. And I feel like the vanilla bean noel was there. This is Broadway wax. So for that reason, I'm gonna pass. Ebony Violet, Attitude and Bubblegum. Um, I actually split this to be candid with a friend. Um, so I only used the last two cubes. And it's better than just the bubblegum, but when I tell you I went back into the, I had this going in my room and I went back and I was like. I can smell that powdery bubble gum even over the pink Moscato and pink Friday type. So the next thing I have is HBIC. It's frosting forever, zucchini bread and cupcakes at Tiffany's. This was a huge no for me and it's Ebony Violet again, but it was because of the zucchini bread like that. I don't know when my nose broke on zucchini bread, but I don't want it to happen ever again. I love zucchini bread, the scent and zucchini bread. So the next thing I have is cake macaron. I literally love this scent and it's by Ambiescence and bless you <laughs> why so loud <laughs> but um I got this at Ollie's and I just found more of them at Ollie's so I have a feeling I'm probably gonna make it over to Ollie's this weekend and clean them out 
because I really I really love that scent like that is one that I don't want to live without oh actually this is not my favorites because it I used this before when I didn't have a favorite so the next thing I have is toasted marshmallow and this is by closet full of no <laughs> from the hive wax company it was really light um yeah it was a little light I had some issues with that wax some of them threw really well uh but like the ones that I think I tried to get out of you know collection status yeah um this is the last house on the left red apple cinnamon leaf and cranberry this one I didn't like it was like fruity powdery I didn't understand where I felt the powdery was coming from I, I was assuming it was the cinnamon leaf part I'm not sure but I didn't like this this was vintage chic scents the next thing I have is the witching hour and this was closet full of wax yeah, if I remember correctly, this was kind of spicy. <laughs> it, it just smacked me in the face. It's kind of spicy and it reminded the elderberry and mixed with the smoked vanilla really reminded me of like a holistic shop. And I think because it's the witching hour, maybe that's really appropriate, you know? So I, although I liked it, I wouldn't buy it. I mean, there's no smaller quantity from Club of Full Wax. So I guess it's safe to say I would not buy it again. The next thing I have is I totaled your MasterCard and it's Money Steal Sugar Clean Cotton. Not a huge fan of this. The cotton was powdery. I have Santa's on Keto by L3. I gave some of this out <laughs> to uh, as like a testing. And it's so good, guys. I mean, when I, I when I was giving this scent out, I was thinking like, oh, I know, you know, of what am I going to give to somebody that I know has not tried wax very often that they're going to love? They loved it. And not only that, it reminded me to use it. So I was like in love all over again. <laughs> this is Mango Tango and it was really good. They were little piggies. Um, that's with Envy and I would buy Mango Tango again. I would. The next thing I have is Fall Harvest Cider. Again, nothing too spectacular in the fall section, but this is from the Hive Wax Company. The next I have is Pumpkin Cheesecake from the Hive Wax Company. And I would say this is like, definitely, it, it was better than the rest. Hmm. Would I purchase more of that? I'm not a cheesecake lover in like scent notes, so honestly, I, oh, I like it though. I like it. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna put this in the favorites. So from the wild, from the hive wax company, welcome to favorites. <laughs> like the next thing is Sensational's apple pumpkin spice. I think that's what it says. The stickers over it. But this is one that smells like like straight oatmeal, like apple cinnamon oatmeal. Um, and it was good, but I have to say, I don't know if I would reach for it again if I saw it at Ollie's again, because I got it at Ollie's. So I'm going to go ahead and let that one go. Um, the next thing I have is Snuggle Type Lily the Valley Violet and Lavender. Yeah, okay. So this was way too powdery. It was great for like a cleaning day, but then immediately after that. Honestly, I think I could do citrus cleaning things over fabric-y cleaning things, laundry-ish, esque. The Tropics from Pharmacist Daughter, which I need to try their stuff again. There's some stuff that, I mean, I used to love their stuff, but I, you know, in my attempt to try other people's wax, I, it's just a natural thing on this channel. I try new wax vendor pretty much, I would say I try to try a new wax vendor every other month because they're still my favorites that I buy from, you know? So they were on my try a new wax vendor and then I ended up falling in love with them. But since then, trying other wax vendors, I've moved on. So not to say I'm not coming back. Not to say that. I finished this because I replaced it with one of the Walmart ones that you don't need to ever toss. So this, these things are from Amazon and you put the wax in it and it warms. And then when you're finished, you take it off and your wax warmer is clean. However, I found a more sustainable one and I'm going to go with that one. Surprising, huh? Stay sustainable from Walmart. The next thing I have is Thug Passion. It's really one of my favorite scents from Ebony Violet. And I I, I was just going to say I wouldn't hesitate to buy it at Loaf, but I already did. So <laughs> it's just a very summery scent, but I did have two uh, waxes. I had two cubes left, so I finished that by Ebony Violet. Oh, this is going to my favorites pile. The next thing I have is Banana Cream Pie from With Envy. My favorite, a hus my husband, I was going to say a husband's favorite. My husband's favorite, we both love this scent. Um, it's delicious and because he's such a huge, where are words today? <laughs> he's such a huge banana fan. I'm going to, I, we put this in the bedroom and it was like amazing. 
and I have another one but I will be repurchasing because it's so good the next thing I have is I should change my pod strawberry pound cake warm sugar cookies with sweet frosting and birthday cake if you are listening to this video this is amazing I did not even know I liked strawberry pound cake the mixture is so good I bought it in a loaf and it should be on its way I and I should change my pot but I think I already talked about this oh I was saying that she has she usually has a ready to ship after her pre-orders are finished shipping so I might get another loaf of this but I'm saying you should also try it but like don't take my loaf okay I don't know why it seems like the lighting changed when I stopped the video um the next thing I have is two infinity and beyond and this is caramel pretzel bites mac apple and vanilla bean ice cream and for some reason I'm trying to think it's probably the mixture of the mac apple and the caramel pretzel bites but I like this and I thought it was very fall so might grab some of that for next fall if there's any left on the website this is a closet full of wax um but was, oh no this is actually a favorite since I'm repurchasing the next thing I have is shake it like a milkshake and it's bum bum cream type sugar cookies and vanilla ice cream I do have the remainder of a loaf in this so amazing um amazing but <laughs> this goes to my favorites because of that the next thing i have is lovely by kate simpson milk this was kind of weird um i don't really have the words for this so the next thing i have is back with barbie and it was actually better than i thought i almost bought this so i was glad i didn't buy it and got to try it in a sample this is pink petal tea cakes vanilla wood and palo santo so after I had a run in with the pink petal tea cake soap from Bath and Body Works, I was pretty much like, no, I don't want any of that uh, ever again. But this was good. I think the mixture was good. What I repurchased, I'm going to pass on that. So the next thing, let me get all these samples up. Oh my goodness. I went through a lot of samples because they're a perfect size for my, um, can my tea light warmer. And again, I'm sitting like off, to, off the side of the kitchen. So if you hear noises, I need to eat. <laughs> This is Bullseye and this is a favorite, but I don't think it's in my favorites because I started my favorite notebook after this, but love, love, love this. It is Closet Full of Wax, Zucchini Bread, Red Delicious Apples, Brown Sugar Crumbles, topped with fresh whipped cream, a fall staple. Top, hands down, one of my favorite fall wax vendor scents. Yes, that is a mouthful, but it's a favorite. This is Charcoal and Tonka. And while I appreciated how different it was, I didn't love it. This, oh, that was, these are all closet full of wax, these samples. So this is, I got a golden ticket and it's fizzy pop, orange cream and fruit loops. The next thing I got is leaves by L3 Waxy Wonders. And uh, yes, honestly, I hope that there's more of this so I can purchase for next year because just straight leaves is so good. Um, and I wanted a loaf, loaf would be nice. I think a loaf is a lot. Actually, let me, <laughs> I didn't need to go through enough wax to say that I need a loaf of a fall scent, so. I'll think about that but I'm gonna put it in my favorites and then I have pumpkin pecan waffle sugar cookie royale and oh hufflepuff which I guess is uh, like a mixture of hers so good you guys this might be my game changer for pumpkin pecan waffles because this was amazing carol baskin's diary which is marshmallow clouds pink chiffon and twisted peppermint again another amazing out of the park sample that makes me want to come back for more for closet full of wax honestly I think they're that's just what they're known for in my brain is like how good their samples are and how much they make you return um this is altered carbon and it's charred vanilla it was a little cologne for charred vanilla it's not what i expected maybe charred meant something else for somebody else then i have house of horrors finished purposely horrors i finished this uh, because of halloween and it was pumpkin crunch salted pretzels and strawberry drippings the strawberry drippings threw me off I appreciated it in the sense of the theme of the bar but I didn't love it mixed with the pretzels for some reason but again that was closet full of wax if I didn't say that this is closet full of wax and it's ill David I this is not fall related at all but I did have three balls these came in ball shapes of this left so I was like let me just go ahead and finish it it's one of my favorite scents there's days sometimes where like I have a hard day and I just go pick out my fate one of my favorite scents like and it just puts me in a better room and this is one of those that I like love it Il David is closet full of wax and it's powdered donuts pistachio ice cream buttercream sugar cookies nothing to not like about what I just said in that sentence love this and it's 
It's Shit's Creek reference. Love everything about it. And it has pistachio. Oh, you know I was gonna like it. You know I was. This is a favorite, but I think this might already be in my favorite. So I'm gonna double check that before I add it again. I have a wax relative item, but not a wax empty. But this is a, the second dish that I bought. This is an easy clean flex dish. Wax pop out with a twist. And this one is super reusable. It's from Sensational's brand. And it looks like that. I don't think I even showed a close up the last time. But yeah, it looks like that. And it says they come in these shapes. But I have not seen this square one at all. And I don't think I've even seen the small shape. Because I think technically this is the larger. Full size warmer for the round issue medium. Yeah, this is the larger one. I don't have any that would fit the small and or the square actually so but if i saw them i'd probably actually pick them up just in case i found a warmer that i was like in love with actually i think there's a warmer i want to get that is walmart brand so the next time i go to walmart whenever that is because I, I go so rarely i'll be on the lookout but anyways it's not about that i just wanted to show you that that's the second one i bought and what did i say about repeat purchases they're the proof the proof that somebody likes something is in the repeat purchase so this is ebony and violet and it's boardwalk marshmallow clouds type. It's just a staple in the wax community. It's whipped vanilla whipped cream, marshmallow, magnolia blossom, and warm sandalwood. It's good, whoever makes it. And I just love it. Honestly, I can go through one of those, like, not a loaf. What's it called? I'm, I'm like blanking the circle ones, the little circles. I can go through a souffle of, do people, does everybody call them souffles? I can go through a souffle of, boardwalk marshmallow cloud like monthly it's that good to me this is cherry banana it was really good it was a good different scent um i smelled both notes just plain simple both notes but it was good i wouldn't repurchase uh but it was with envy but it was good this is destination wax and it's lemon leaves and mint i felt like this was like lemon mint leaf this came out of my bath and body works section but very spa like love it and would I repurchase? I would. I have been having a hard time catching them because the open time for the pre-orders is like, seems like it's two days. And I, I always miss that. So are they normally two days? Maybe I'm just being picky. The next thing is Marshmallow Fireside from K Scented Melt. I don't know if this hadn't cured yet by the time I used it. So this could very well be use your air. But I didn't feel like there was much throw in any of the Marshmallow Fireside scents that were like that I purchased in wax so I'm a little weirded out by that because why but then I have cashmere glow and this was really good but not repurchase worthy by K Scented and last but not least I have a pumpkin chai by Huntington Home it's so good 100% of course something that is so limited and that you can't get your hands on again repurchase worthy this is one of my favorites I struggled with whether or not I would put the Huntington Home ones in my favorites, but just for record, put in my favorites. All right, guys, that's the Wax Empties. Oh, like, comment, subscribe for more content like this, and have a great day. Where's my little remote? Uh -uh.